Okay, so we have managed to find a spot, finally. Somehow I was at the end of that freaking... How do you say... Of that bat on the top left. I didn't think it was going to be something there. It appears that we landed to a new area. As long as there's no more pitfalls, I would estimate that we have managed to get through a, about a quarter of this map. Sweet. And talk about pitfalls. There's still something more. Yeah, I should keep investigating further. Oh look, you're 24. I can capture you. Alright, I don't want to risk it, so... She may or dodge it, maybe. No, but she managed to do that. Wasn't sure if I could or not. So let's guard again. Hopefully, she doesn't re regain health. And we caught her. Sweet. We caught ourselves. She was tough. I feel her sh straining against the capture spell itself. Must have been an incredible force that will do and uh, will will to do that. Some monsters are naturally harder to capture than others. Even if your strength is similar to them, their personality can make it difficult. Trying to capture a tiger as opposed to trying to capture a rabbit. Well, even if they weren't monsters, you could understand why it would be better to catch the tiger. So that's how your capture spell works. It is overcoming their will and making them serve you. Not quite like that. It is more overwhelming their personality long enough to make them more open to negotiation. The transparent quality of the spell is merely an afterthought I added when I first attended entered here. Not really relevant, but I'm not exactly sure what a tiger is. You speak of many exotic things I have never seen before, Box. Oh. Anything? Oh, maybe there could be something in here. I'm not- I'm gonna make sure of it. Oh. There you go. Alright, nothing much really here. What are you guys still doing here? Nice to see you like to welcome us. Like, welcome back upstairs, dungeon. There wasn't much really there. Far is she? Forty nine, sixty nine, fourteen. Ah, thank God. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
yet. Oh, there goes that. I might as well go and capture my tiger already, or I mean, go to the capture creatures, whatever it is called. Yes. After this, I'm gonna save just in case. Let's save. Oh, no, oh, not load. There you go. Just in case. Yep, and there's another one there. Yes. And there's another one. Oh my god. Trap door after trap door. see everything in this dungeon I want to skip the battle but I just want them to get as much points as possible And another one. Fuck! I was gonna say another freaking pit drop, whatever it's called. Pitfall. Treasure. Pulling a scroll from the chest, Siri looks at it closely. Toxic bomb, I think it says. Well done. You really have been practicing reading the runes. The written word is not the only way to gain wisdom. Listen to the voices of your ancestors. They too will guide you. Reading is not as important as practice. You should train just as much as you read. Ha! I'm self-taught. No books or reading for me. She flicks a finger and a magical spark comes off it. See? I already had the talent. Although my knowledge is limited, I think it might be useful somewhere. Sylvie nods in approval, which is surprising. I think that learning more than arcane practice is always a good idea. But if you really want to get far with it, you're going to have to keep practicing. I only need a rudimentary knowledge, I think. Knowledge, I think. After all, I do not have the talent for using magic. 
It's still good to know though. Though, right Yomi? Undoubtedly. I don't like the sound of toxic bomb, however. One must keep themselves open to many different, many different possibilities, Siri. It is only through flexibility that one can overcome obstacles. I found a toxic bomb. in here oh my god another freaking pitfall trying to walk aimlessly again there's an event over there which won't let me use for some reason Yes. Don't have time for you freaking creatures right now. What is this fox? If I were to guess, whoever designed this floor made some stairs for ease of access. I can only hope. Yeah, let me unlock this door. Wait a minute, what? I was gonna say, like, there's no way for me to get in there, is there? It's getting easier and easier. And of course, this is a new area. Yes. I believe this is the end of this floor. Really? Please tell me that you aren't just saying this is what I want to hear. I feel a strong presence beyond the door. If we're taking into account the usual trend for the previous floors, that means this exit is beyond this door. I wonder if whoever is behind this door is responsible for this floor's design. When I was in charge, monsters were rarely given ar architectural control over floors. But things have already changed a lot when I was here. So it is possible. I don't think I'm ready yet. Hang on a second. I want to clear out every single floor. Oh, so there's a secret wall right there. Oh, we're in luck. Excitedly, Sierra brings the item she found to me. It's another remnant of that statue you mentioned. 
Excellent. We're closer, we're closer to finishing it now. Palming the pearl like stone in her hands, Siri suddenly seems very curious. You're holding something that is precious beyond your understanding. Do not be so careless with it. What? What is this statue made of? It's marvel that is particularly infused with the essence of the divine. I'm not something which can be easily made today. So you could say that I'm holding a piece of God? You could say that. When you think about it that way, this feels really surreal. The gods are supposed to be untouchable to us, yet I can touch the divine with my own hands right now. The dark elves will commune with the gods before humans do. Mark my words. I will believe it when it happens. Sweet. I think I should go back and at least recruit the tiger. Alright, so I had to cut, a, a, I guess, a lot because... Oh my god, it took a really long time. Alright, Siri practically burst into the room. Whoever is here, show yourself. She's being a lot less careful than before. Save your anger for battle. You are simply wasting your energy otherwise. Why else do you think I'm trying to start a fight? How do you expect to defeat this monster presence if you can't focus? You must be approaching this with a clear mind. My mind is perfectly clear. I know exactly what, what goal I'm aiming for. You sure I made? That's just adorable. I could just pinch your cheek right now. Shut it, cat. What? Who is it? Hey, a priestess. Oh. Well. It seems like this piece of paper ain't holding you that much, dude. I mean, it's got. It seems like it's about to burst. A priestly looking girl, fox girl, appears before us. Ah, a Miku. Miko. Interesting. Tell me, Fox Spirit, do you know who designed this floor? Oh, and that, that would be me. Why do you ask? I would like to have a word with you about it. Her eyes are practically glowing with anger at the moment. Calm down, Siri. If you, get, if you let anger cloud your judgment, you're going to give her the upper hand. I cannot say that I care about that right now. Well, it looks like my, my floor design was un, wasn't successful. So I guess I will just have to change it after all, after I'm done with you. If I win, I will make you change it myself. Pitfalls are among the lowest, dirtiest traps in existence. <coughs> I don't understand why you're so angry about it. You managed to get through it eventually, right? I have only after falling more times that I care to recall. Enough talk. Let's settle this fox spirit. Very well. If I win... I've decided I'm going to add even more pitfalls instead. Two fox archers emerge from their hiding places. I would rather not be outnumbered, however. 27. I might as well focus my fire on her. Alright. I can do this. Oh, she's about to be dying. Come on, destroy her already. There you go, she's defeated. It's okay, Siri. We got you. There you go. We did it, boys and girls. We did it. We have found 101 mana shards. I feel much better now. Why do you hate Pitfall so much anyway? Well, I saw another adventure in my party fall into a pit trap. And there was some sort of slime creature at the bottom of it. Needless to say, I cannot feel help but feel anxious around them. Remembering that. Do not be so narrow-minded. Slimes can be a lot of fun. I think that we really need to expand your horizons, Siri. I will pass, thank you. Slimes are a necessary part of nature. There are hardly any carrion eater which doesn't as well as they do. Then they can eat their carrion as long as they can far they are, they are far away from me. I can relay how how much you hate them. 
Foxcatcher looks down at her bow. Believe it or not, but arrows are not very effective against slime monsters. I usually have to end up using my bow as a gudgel. Cast a spell, cause an explosion. No more slime, no more nasty. Gelatin tentacles. You realize that not everyone can simply cast a spell to solve their problems, don't you? Yes, I'm a very lucky cat. So you just sighs. The important thing is that we have passed yet another floor. So how much further do you think we have to go? I am not sure yet. But I am certain that we are far from from the final floor. Right. She looks down at the floor. You talked about home on the last floor. I am feeling a bit homesick too. Some of my friends at the guild are probably wondering what happened to me. I know how you feel. Ever since the Elven Petropolis was established, I had little reason to travel, save for the rare expedition. But now, I do wish I was home. Nonetheless, I am glad to be here. I owe Yomi a debt, a debt after all. You do not owe me anything. And now, and if you're feeling homesick, Siri, perhaps you would like to go visit your guild sometime. Do we have the time to do something like that? I don't see why not. Well, I understand the necessity for clearing out this dungeon as soon as possible. But I would appreciate if you took the time to visit my guild. Just talk to me whenever you'd like to do that. No problem. For now, shall we press on? Absolutely. Well, we did it. Okay. This is where I'm gonna uh, save the game. Alright, so let's continue on. There's a door here. <gasps> yes! Oh, another monk. Not quite as strong as the other one that we saw. So you have met another on the path to enlightenment. Enlightenment. Then you understand that in the pursuit of true wisdom, we must not battle with one another. Show me your wisdom so that I may drink deeply from it. Very well, monk. I hope that you can find the enlightenment that you are looking for. I don't really understand what what I could teach you, but I will fight you if you if you have if I have to, monk. Enlightenment can be found in everything, especially battle. All right, she's oh well, she's not that far from us. Well, she's dead now. And she's a teleporter. We have found another teleporter suite. Alright, let's meet our captured monster, the tiger. Certain guests in the prison can be very unruly. The tiger who was captured earlier is no exception. Caging a wild animal like this? Well, it did not do much to improve their disposition. She utters a loud, low growl when she sees me approach the prison cell. There you are. She bares her pointed teeth at me. Yes, yes, you're very intimidating. <laughs> she tries to let out a roar, but it comes out as a squeak. Uh, you stole my power. She tries to roar again, but nothing but a mew. This is not very dignified, to say the least. I've not had such a humiliating experience since the dungeon lord beat me. You saw the dungeon lord? What did she look like? I don't remember. I don't remember. Shit me so hard that I can only remember walking to the room when we were going to fight. Then nothing, only blackness. I see. Even I did know, there's no way I could, would tell you. She tries to look intimidating again, but it fails. So what do you want? I will give you back your power on, in, on one condition. Are you willing to work for me? That's an, that, that is extortion. Angrily, she bares her fangs and tries to growl. This time, she sounds like she's purring. Well could always stay here and continue making cute noises. Maybe I'll let you out and keep you as a pet. Anything about that? I will do anything. Please just give me my power back. Very well. I hope that we can work well together, Tiger. Provided that you do not humiliate me any further. Sweet, sweet. We got ourselves a tiger, girl. Alrighty. Let's walk around town. Take some time to speak with Sylvie. Yeah, let's do that. I haven't, I haven't talked to Sylvie for a while, like actually by himself. I noticed that Sylvie has been struggling on several levels. She isn't relying on my power like my other subordinates. I think I need to give her some training in order to give her help her give, keep up. Yomi, do you need something from me? I would like you to take a walk with me, Sylvie. A, a walk? Just 
us two together? Yes. I would love to. Where are we going? It's a secret. She used to be really excited. Let's see if she appreciates the place I'm about to take her to. After a, walk, a short walk out of town, we arrive at a scenery river near some dense woodlands. Sylvia looks around, not quite certain what to expect. Why are we here, Yomi? I reach down to the river's waters, pulling it on my hand and throwing it in the air. The droplets shimmer and sparkle in the sunlight. The waters here have incredibly high amounts of magic in them. Exactly. This is a river well known in local legend. If you look deeply into its waters, it's said that you can find new insight. Why would I search here for insight when you have an entire library filled to the brim with knowledge? Some things in life can only be learned when you stop and listen. I take a seat by the river, allowing my mind to be empty. Just sit with me, Sylvie. Well, alright. I will trust you on this, Yomi. As the time passes, she grows more and more relaxed as she watches the river's course in water. But she seems to grow impatient as well. Is something supposed to happen? Just wait. After a few moments, I see something moving underneath the river's surface. They're almost here. Sylvie notices it too. Wait, what, what is that? The shape emerges from the river. Oh, the slime. Slime. We have found a worthy one. A slime girl begins to emerge from the river, all of them watching Sylvie. Sylvie immediately reaches for her staff to cast a spell, but I, mo but I motion for her to stop. Y Yomi? Just relax. The slime girl quickly surrounds her. You are adorable. Wait, what? What? Wait, wait, what? What the hell? Yo, what the hell's going on? Oh my god! What exactly are they doing? I see her hand on her butt. What are they doing? Oh my god, her behind right here. Oh my god. Is she enjoying it or not? To me, it looks like she's enjoying it. Without warning, they begin to press up against her. Unsure of how she re react, she just awkwardly sits there, the center of the girl's attention. What, what do you want? Why would you want to interest in me? Would you be interested in me? Because we like you. In what way? You wanted insight, right? Well, well yes. Subi just gets really flustered. I, I, I don't really want attention like that. J just leave me alone. She pauses as she seems to realize something. What? I can... Memories of the past course through this river accept them the slum girl smile at her but but she looks over at me with guilt in her eyes I it's okay Sylvie the, these slimes have been absorbing the lost knowledge of the river for quite some time all you need to do is remain in contact with them as you are and you will find the strength that you will need what well I need to know more so show me more Gladly. She pulls one of her slimes towards her. Bit by bit, she allows herself to get into the mood of it. The slime girls gladly oblige with her wishes. With more body contact, I see something flashing in her eyes. Tiny pink prints of light. Yet, her face. She couldn't be more embarrassed at the moment if she wanted to be. Bits of slime begin to crawl across her, touching her all over. That's cold. A bit more slowly, please. One cannot be slow with knowledge. As more with more of the, as more and more of the slime girl gets pressed on in, Sylvie begins to mumble to herself. Oh, that makes sense now. So does this. But but, she shifts about. She shifts. Oh, she shifts about uncomfortably. I am not used to contact like this. Too much rubbing against me. Too much move. She lets a small yelp as one of the slime tendrils touches her somewhere. Okay, that's enough. This is enough insight for me now. As you wish. Slime girls begin to retreat back into the river. Oh my god, this looked like they were having some smacks. As soon as they were gone. Oh shoot, I didn't read the rest. As soon as they were gone, Sylvie just seemed to space out. I. They... 
I do not know what just happened. But I've just learned so much about the efficient use of arcane magic. She just quietly sits there. So they can absorb knowledge now? The ri this river works in mysterious ways. These slimes are famous for spreading knowledge through body contact. They do all they only do so when someone takes their fancy, however. You mean yes. We were just waiting to see if they were going to take notice of you. You were lucky. R right. Anyway, I don't even know how to feel about all this. So can we please go back to town? That's fine. Sylvie's stats have increased. Sylvie has gained the Conjure ability. Sweet. Alrighty. Let's save, because that was an interesting part. Holy shit. Travel costume, you're going to keep that on. Talk to Isabella, we don't talk much. Photoshop. We have 6,000, holy shit. Alright, let's see. We need to keep, teach people the capture school just in case, because I can't be, um, she can't be the only one. One more. Alright. And we need more healing potions. Uh, okay, reviving ball. There you go. I think that's it. So let's go ahead and save. Alrighty then, I think that'll be it for the episode. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, go ahead and leave a like. And as always, hope to see you guys in the next episode of Sakura Dungeon. See you guys later. Goodbye.